Hello, we are at Lima 17 here with Mr. Paul, the, the pilot of uh, Typhoon uh, Warjet. This is the best advanced combat uh, aircraft. We are going to have more information about this fantastic aircraft and he is going to highlight about some of the technical aspects that the high graph and the key elements that make this uh, Warjet so famous in the whole world. So today we are going to know take this opportunity to know about the Typhoon and why militia need to buy one, one Typhoon. Uh, because militia are planning to buy one Typhoon. It is in the proposal, I don't know, yesterday that's what they mentioned. So, and we at the same time are going to, we are making comparison between Typhoon and, and Rafale and other sophisticated, the latest technology and weaponry system. Okay, just follow me, you will know Mr. Uh, the, our pilot, Mr. Paul, is going to highlight and explain and collaborate more about this war jet. Thank you. Great to be here. Okay. Cabin is closed. Rolls are up. Engines are started. There goes the lead. larger and that means it's a bigger lifting area I can carry more weapons and I don't need so much power when I'm carrying those weapons so I can stay in the air longer I have a longer range and really makes the aircraft more effective yeah so if they come from a different aircraft they will find them typhoons are even easier it's very easy to fly we made it very high technology so it's easy maybe three months conversion and you can you can do the all of the basic techniques and the other thing I'd like to say about the engine it's very low maintenance. So our engineers, there's no scheduled maintenance for the engine. The engine tells you when it needs maintenance. And this is more than the lifetime of many of our competitors' engines. So less costs for maintenance, less uh, support costs, and the engine is more reliable than any competitor engine. So as a pilot, it gives me great confidence that the aircraft engine will keep working and keep operating for me in the air over uh, the Indian Ocean or the South China Sea or wherever I'm flying. So the reliability of the engine is really important for me as a pilot. Uh, it really gives me great confidence that it will uh, keep me safe and allow me to do the job that I need to do. So the engine gives me so much thrust that when I take off from uh, zero to 150 miles an hour, it takes only five seconds, about 330 meters. So a very small takeoff run. And that really shows you how much thrust and lift the aircraft develops, which is great for performance and capability. It shows when I'm fighting, I'm flying over Syria and Iraq. The Typhoon is sitting 10 or 15,000 feet above all the other aircraft. It keeps me out of harm's way. It makes it more safe. And it means that my weapons and missiles have more performance. So all of these things are really important. Conditioning. I have a big uh, head of display here to give me lots of tactical information, as well as the information on my visor. You remember the striker helmet. Looking down, I have different radar displays and many other data links that allow me to really understand the battlefield and make sure I know where the friendlies are and where hostiles are. On the hands on throttle and stick, so normally I fly like this my hands on the, hot, on the throttle of the stick, we call it HOTAS. And without taking my hands from the stick, I can make 117 different selections, which allows me to use the air to surface or air to air weapons or the sensors. So I can look out the window and I never need to look in for extra switches. So really a very effective way of, of me interacting with the aircraft. We call it the human machine interface. All of those switches mean that I can keep looking out the window and effectively fly the aircraft rather than look in and make different selections. And I can even talk to the aircraft. We call it direct voice input. So while I'm flying, I can say to the aircraft, target track alpha, and the radar does what I'm talking to it. So I can have a conversation with the aircraft and use that. And again, it means I'm more effective. And the aircraft, the technology, allows me to operate the aircraft more effectively. A lot of engine information, data links information. So really, I have the, really the best picture. I have a laser pod indication here. So all of that information really allows me to, uh, to be more effective when I'm working alongside the Malaysian Air Force and when I'm working, along, working alongside my... Yeah, so that's important, you know. I mean, the important thing to have an aircraft like Typhoon is not so that you can go to war, it's so that you have a strong deterrent to maintain peace and security. And so Typhoon really gives uh, 
a great capability to defend the airspace, to defend the, the large sea areas with the range and performance of the aircraft. It really gives us a, a great uh, performance and capability no, for security.